In this problem, we're asked to find the resultant moment produced by the forces about point O. So let's look at the figure. I see I have a force F sub 1 and another force F sub 2. Here's point O. We're going to work this problem in scalar. So the resultant moment is going to be equal to the sum of the moments about O. And for this particular problem, that's going to be the magnitude of F sub 1 times the perpendicular distance from the line of action of F sub 1 to point O plus the magnitude of F sub 2 times the perpendicular distance from the line of action of F sub 2 to point O. So we know F sub 1 and F sub 2, those magnitudes are given. So we need to find D1 and D2. Let's look at D1 first. Work in orange here. D1 is the perpendicular distance from the line of action of F1. So let's draw that line of action. And a line from that line of action to point O that's perpendicular occurs right here. Making this D1. We know it's perpendicular at the vertex there where they intersect and we also know that because they tell us that these angles are both 30 degrees that the line of action of F sub 1, F1 is parallel to the axis along the pipe. So I'm going to note that this is also a right angle and I'm going to complete this rectangle here where this side of the of this triangle is going to going to also be d sub 1 it's equal to the distance down here of d sub 1 because definition of a rectangle and I can determine that this is a 30 degree angle, this is a 60 degree angle. So now I can get D1 because I know the hypotenuse of that triangle. So the moments, the sum of the moments, I'm going to assume counterclockwise moments are positive, equals F1 times D1, which I can express as 6 cosine 30. And I need to look at, should this, is this, a, should this be a positive or negative moment? So I look at F1 with respect to point O, and it's creating, trying to rotate counterclockwise. So this will be a positive. So I'm good with my first moment that's formed by F1 that's composed of F1, D1. Now let's look at D2. I'll do that in purple. We need the line of action of F2, which goes like that. Perpendicular distance from F2, the line of action of F2 down to point O is right there. That's a right angle, so I have a right triangle here. 
whose hypotenuse I know is 6 feet. I have the 30 degree angle there. And let's mark D2 before we forget. So here's D2. It's that adjacent side to the 30 degree angle in the right triangle. So I can write the second part of my moment equation and I need to decide if this is going to be a positive or negative moment. And I look at F2 with respect to O and see that it's also trying to cause a counterclockwise rotation around point O. So it's going to get a positive sign. Magnitude of F2 is 200. And D2 is also 6 cos 30. Okay. So the sum of the moments about point O these are identical here so I can do some fancy algebra and say that simplify that last equation down to 3000 cos 30 so the sum of the moments about O equals, I do that math on my calculator, 2,598.076. I round to three significant figures. I get 2,600. 2,600 what? Well, this is a moment. And I'm working in FPS, so it's going to be pound-feet. And that's the solution.